In the initial part of this demonstration, we showed you how to add organization units through the user interface within DHIS2. As a next step, we want to take these organization units and create organization unit groups. Before we get started, it's always a good idea to document what we are going to do in DHIS2. So let's have a look at some of the different groups that might be possible based on the organization units that we've created. Here we have an example of two group sets that can be created based on the organization units that we've made in DHIS. The two group sets include facility type and ownership. Within the facility type group set, we have two groups, hospital and health center. We can see those organization units with hospital in the name belong to the hospital group. And likewise, those organization units with health center in the name belong to the health center organization unit group. These two groups make up the facility type group set. We also have an ownership group set that consists of public and private ownership types. We can see that a mix of health centers and hospitals belong to these different groups. Note that in this example, the organization units do not belong to two groups within the same group sets. They can, however, belong to more than one group as long as that group is in a different group set. For example, in the facility type group set, we have the organization unit group of Health Center. One of these organization units is Four Villages Health Center. Note that Four Villages Health Center is also not part of the hospital group. However, if we look at the ownership group set, Four Villages Health Center is part of the private organization unit group. So it can belong to more than one organization unit group, as long as those groups are not part of the same group set. Let's go back into DHIS2 and create the facility type group set with the hospital and health center organization unit groups. We will start this process by creating the organization unit groups. In order to start this process of creating that group set, we need to first create the organization unit groups of hospital and health center. In order to add organization unit groups, we will click on organization unit group. Just as before, we can click on the plus icon to add in organization unit groups. There are a couple fields that are available for us to select when we create these organization unit groups. This includes the name, the short name, and the code. The name and short name are fairly self-explanatory. The code, just like in organization units, can be used as a way to match it with other tools and systems if required. There is only one mandatory field in the organization unit group. Here we want to name the group according to the groups that we've defined earlier. This includes health facility and hospital. Let's add in the hospital group first. We can give it a short name if we like, but in this case, that field is not mandatory. We can also assign the organization units a symbol. If I click on select, we have a number of different symbols which appear. These symbols correspond to the facility layer that are created within the GIS application. We covered this in the previous presentation. Hopefully by now you are familiar with how to use the facility layer within DHIS2. The next thing I do is then select my particular organization units. I can either expand my organization unit hierarchy and select all the hospitals. You can see when they're highlighted in orange, they're now selected. I can also filter out these organization units by searching for them where it says filtering organization units by name. I will just enter hospital. We can see that those three organization units appear. Note that we still have to select them after they've been filtered. They will be highlighted in this orange color and you will also have a prompt that tells you how many organization units you have selected. 
When we've given the organization unit group a name and selected the organization units, we can go ahead and click on Save. Next, let's create the Health Center Organization Unit Group. We'll click on the plus icon and enter a name. Once again, we can assign it a symbol by clicking on Select. And then we can filter the organization units that we're searching for. We then select the organization units that we want to be part of this group. With the organization units highlighted, we click on Save. We have now created those two organization unit groups that we described earlier.